Hello, I'm Dr. Amy Fracota, Medical Officer of Health for Prairie Mountain Health. As we prepare to recognize and celebrate the holiday season, we do so this year in the midst of the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic. These have been and continue to be extremely challenging and unprecedented times. All of us have faced our own individual and family challenges throughout the course of this pandemic. Many are fatigued. Many have dealt with various levels of stress and anxiety. There are others that have certainly faced much higher burdens, themselves or family members falling ill. And in very unfortunate cases, loved ones, family members and friends passing away. I extend my sincere condolences on behalf of the region to families that have lost loved ones. More than ever, our healthcare workers have given all that they have so that we have access to healthcare services. There are not enough words to say how much their dedication, commitment and sacrifices are valued and appreciated. On behalf of the region, a sincere and heartfelt thank you for the care and compassion that our healthcare workers bring to their work. For context, this message is being recorded on December 17th, and there are currently 313 cases that are active in the Prairie Mountain Health Region, including 11 new cases today. The Manitoba five-day test positivity is 13%, and the Prairie Mountain Health five-day test positivity is 10.9%. Our Manitoba Health System continues to struggle. Currently, we have 314 infectious patients in hospital, 42 patients in ICU, and 14 additional deaths reported today for a total of 537 Manitobans with COVID that have died. Nationally, Manitoba is in the top three provinces for highest number of cumulative cases, active cases, and deaths per capita, with the number of deaths per capita in Manitoba being the second highest in the entire country. In the Prairie Mountain region, I'm aware of cases and contacts that are not self-isolating, of individuals that are gathering with those outside their households, and of individuals who are not isolating while waiting for their test results. We need everyone's help to reduce the spread of this virus. We are all tired of this, but we need to work together by following the basic fundamentals that we all know well. Hand washing, physical distancing, wearing a mask, sticking to our household, only going out for essentials, and staying home if you are ill. I want to stress the importance of self-isolating when you have symptoms or while waiting for test results. I'm aware of situations in which COVID positive individuals had symptoms of upset stomach, assumed this was not COVID, did not isolate and did not go for testing right away. COVID symptoms may include fever, chills, cough, sore throat, difficulty breathing, loss of taste or smell, vomiting, diarrhea, runny nose, muscle aches, fatigue, pink eye, headache, skin rash, nausea, loss of appetite, and in an infant, poor feeding. I encourage all Prairie Mountain citizens who are experiencing COVID symptoms to go for testing, especially now over the holiday season. This is a critical time. We need to follow the public health restrictions in order to care for one another, to care for our healthcare workers, our teachers and students, our workplaces, and to prevent more deaths from happening. Our healthcare system continues to be pushed to capacity and our daily numbers are still too high. To those of you that are following these restrictions, thank you. Now is not the time to try to get around the orders and restrictions. Now is the time to work together. These restrictions are hard. I do not want to have them in place any more than you do. This holiday season is going to be different from last year. Working together is the only way we are going to make it through. Do not gather with those outside your household for the holidays. Connect with family and friends by phone or virtual means. These restrictions are not forever, but we need to follow them at this time to be safe and to care for one another. I want to acknowledge the high level of stress and anxiety that this pandemic has brought upon all of us and to compassionately share that you are not alone in this. The Manitoba COVID website has a number of different resources and ideas to help people respond to the stress of COVID including free virtual counseling sessions. The Prairie Mountain Health website also has some resources on mental health and wellness supports. 
As 2020 draws to a close, good news is on the horizon. On December 16th, the first dose of vaccine was delivered to Manitoba. The vaccines being administered this week are a critical first step in helping protect the most at-risk Manitobans. More vaccine is on the way and will be ready to deliver to others as it arrives in Manitoba. Until there's enough vaccine for all Manitobans though, we need to continue to follow the public health orders and focus on the fundamentals. We have made it this far and I ask you to not give up. I thank you for all that you have been doing to help and I want to encourage you to persevere. Thank you for listening and thank you for doing your part. May we all work together to continue to prevent the spread of COVID in our beautiful province. Lastly, I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a happy, healthy new year.